In car care, water spots is always a nuisance. Water spots are hard to remove. Sometimes they etch into your paint or your glass and you either need to polish them out or replace your glass. One way to eliminate water spots is to have a filtration system, such as our Adams Polish's portable water deionizer. This is a resin-based filtration system that removes the minerals from the water coming out of your home and it puts filtered water onto your car while you're washing pretty much eliminating water spots completely. At Adams Polishes, we have products that eliminate water spots or prevent water spots. Our car soaps are designed to eliminate water spots while you're washing, and detail spray is designed to eliminate water spots while you're drying. But what we didn't have was a product to eliminate water spots during the rinsing process. Now you can use filtered water while rinsing without worrying that you're putting water spots on your car. Inside this portable water deionizer tank is filled with resin, and the resin is what filters your water. Uh, that resin has a lifespan, okay? And to maximize that lifespan, what you can do is you can utilize this bypass valve, and you can use the regular hard water from your home to do an initial rinse, because then you can put the soap on your car, which will eliminate the water spotting. Then, once you have the soap on your car, you can come over to your portable water deionizer, and engage the system to be filtered now. And when you do your last rinse before drying, you can use the filtered water, eliminating water spots through the portable water deionizer. And the way to test if the resin is still filtering water is using the TDS meter that comes with this system. When you use your TDS meter for the first time with the filtered water, you will notice that it reads at zero parts per million. Um, after you've used this, for quite a while, or depending on how much you use this, your resin will become saturated with minerals and it will not continue to filter the water. When it reads above 50 parts per million or PPM, that is when you need to change the resin inside of this tank. That will then, once you change the resin in your tank and have fresh new resin, it will go and read back to zero and then you'll have a spot-free rinse again. Now that we know a little bit about water deionizers, we're gonna let Phil explain to you how to set your system up. He will also explain to you how to remove the used resin inside of this tank and then add new fresh resin so you can go and have a spot-free rinse once again. So when your deionizer shows up, it's gonna come perfectly packaged in several pieces. You're gonna have your bypass valve, a three-foot hose to connect to your water supply, and a male and female upstream and downstream spout. You're also going to have a TDS meter. We're going to be testing the TDS or parts per million of a household water supply. So what you're going to do is you're going to quickly get a sample. Of a standard amount of water, about a half a gallon. We're going to take this blue cap. We're going to scoop some water in there, turn your TDS meter on, and stick it in the cap. We are reading 150 parts per million for this water supply. So using all the parts provided, we're going to go ahead and quickly set this thing up. This came with the built-in bypass. You're going to attach that. Thread in the connections. So with the bypass valve, you have the arrow pointing in, that's your inlet, that's gonna be from your main house water supply. Then you have the arrow pointing out, that's gonna be your outlet, and that's gonna go to your Adams pressure washer or your just standard hose. The way you identify the downspouts is whatever one connects to the hose, which is your female connection connecting to the hose. So you're gonna screw that on. And then that one's going to be your inlet. So you can attach it, make sure that's nice and secure. Then you're going to connect that to your water supply. Then you're going to take this one with the male end, which mimics your hose supply. And this is going to go on your outlet. At this point, you're ready to run some water through the system and test the PPM on the system. When you hook it up, you're gonna get a, some resin beads that are from manufacturing will flow out of the hose, but those should clear up in two to five minutes. 
So we're all now set up and ready to test the system. So we're bypassing the valve right now. We're bypassing the system, the whole tank. And so water is just running from the hose through here and down out of the spout. So this is just standard hose water. What we're now gonna do is engage the system. So this is gonna allow flow of water to go into the tank and come out and this will now be deionized water. We can then take our TDS meter and check and see if this took our DI water from 161 to near zero. So we're gonna take this, grab this, turn it on, and we are actually at zero parts per million. All right, now that we have used the lifespan of this unit, your, your PPM reader now is testing out at 50 or above, you're noticing hard water spots, you're just not happy with how the DI is performing anymore, it's time to replace the resin. So what is the resin? It's gonna come to you like this. It's a bag of resin and a funnel. We're gonna disconnect the bypass. Be careful though, so when you disconnect everything, there will be a little back pressure in the system and you wanna kinda of bleed that out slowly. We've already depressurized this one, so we're good to go. So bypass valves off. <clears throat> then what we're gonna do is we're first gonna dump the excess water into a five gallon bucket. Okay, we still wanna leave a little bit of water in there cause that's gonna help take all the resin beads out. <clears throat> we can unscrew the top. You're gonna pull out the center core. You're gonna stick that in one bucket. You're gonna leave that there for now. Then what you're gonna do, and this does have a fish egg smell to it. And you're gonna dump all that goodness out. So for the excess resin, we, we suggest throwing a little more water in the tank and rinsing it out. So mix it around a little bit. And there you go. For best disposal process, please let this sit in your garage or in a dry spot where it's allowed to have the water evaporate and then dump the beads into a garbage bag and throw right into your garbage. Do not dump them down your storm drain or down your driveway and hope it's your neighbor's problem. If you purchased our deionizer, you probably saw on the same product page is a resin refill kit. And that's what we have sitting right here. Comes with a funnel, comes with a bag of resin to put back into the tank. This is virgin resin. And this is very important to us that we went with a company that offered just virgin resin. If you were to buy regenerated resin, you're only gonna get about half the life, at most three quarters of the life of regenerated resin. With using virgin resin, you're gonna get 100% of your DI tank back for use and it's gonna last you a long time again. So here we have a bag of virgin resin. We're gonna take the funnel, place it up top here. That's just gonna make the process a little easier. What we like to do is tip it down. We're gonna cut the, the corner of the bag and dump it in there. All right, you got all your new fresh virgin resin loaded up in the tank. You're gonna now take this and you're gonna stick the plunger back in. To make this easier, we're gonna add some water, okay? So to make this funnel go in there a little easier. There we go. So in your bag of goodies, you have a little bit of silicone grease here. And at this point, you're gonna take a little bit of that, put it on your finger, and you're gonna lube up the O-ring in here. Okay. 
Then you're gonna shove that back in there, twist on the filter and it will lock. Twist on the filter. There we go. <clears throat> and there you go. You have successfully replaced and put in new virgin resin and your tank is back at 100% ready to go. Now attach your valves. So hook the bypass back up and because we just disconnected the bypass first. You're going to have to disconnect your inlet hose, reattach it to your water supply, reattach it to the tank. We're in bypass mode now. So we're going to turn back on our water supply, bypassing the tank. Now we're going to flush the tank. So you're going to notice it's going to run some water into the tank so water is not going to come out immediately. It's filling this up with water. <clears throat> Again, run for two to five minutes to flush out the new resin. You'll be back up and running with 100% DI water.